I'm Anil Kumar and now let us try to understand how to solve word problems using rational equations. The question here is, an airplane flies 1062 miles with the wind. In the same amount of time it can fly 738 miles against the wind. The speed of the plane in still air is 200 miles per hour. Find the speed of wind. So we know speed of plane, let's say speed of plane P was 200 miles per hour. And we need to find speed of wind. Let's call that as W, which we don't know, right? So that is speed of wind. wind. So we have defined a variable which we need to find. Now the question is that it, the plane can fly in a fixed amount of time distance of 1062 miles when it goes with the wind and a distance of 738 miles when it goes against the wind. Now that same time can give us an equation which we can solve. So I'll suggest that when we are doing speed distance time graphs we should look into a couple of things. First is the triangle itself which relates speed distance and time right so we know distance is equals to speed time times this is one thing second what we need to do is see how to form an equation from the given situation so what we can do is we can make kind of a table here distance speed and time will be three things inside the table so we have distance speed and time now we have two conditions that is the plane is going with the wind or against the wind right so that's how we'll have kind of matrix here which will help us to understand and solve the question right so we know distance here is let's say distance which is given to us in miles so there is no problem in writing units here itself is 1062 when the plane flies with wind And against wind, the distance is 738 miles. Now, what is the speed of the plane? When the plane is flying with the wind, then the plane speed will get added to the wind speed. Plane speed is 200, so we can say 200 plus W. But when it is going against, then wind is against, that means minus W that is the speed. Now how about the time? Time here is distance divided by speed, correct? So time should be 1062 divided by 200 plus W when you're going with the wind and against the wind it should be distance traveled is 738 divided by the time, uh, I mean the speed of 200 minus W. Now it is given to us that these two times are equal. That means we can relate them with an equation and find the variable w. So that is a strategy. So let's do it. So we have 1062 divided by 200 plus w equals to 738 divided by 200 minus w. I hope things are absolutely clear up to this stage. So what we have done here is, we have defined, let the speed of the wind be W, plane speed is given to us as 200. We made a table showing distance speed time relationship when the plane is going with the wind and when against the wind. Since the time is constant, same, exactly same, we have equated the, these two times and found one equation. Now this is a rational equation since we have w the variable in the denominator. Now we know wind speed cannot be 200 that is one restriction. Now to solve it it's kind of a ratio we'll cross multiply and then solve. So we have 1062 times 200 minus w equals to 738 times 200 plus w right. Now these are common numbers if you want you can divide one by the other and simplify that also, right? Now, that can be done. 
but I'm not going in there. So what I will do here is I will just expand and then simplify. So let's expand and use calculator now. So we have 200 times 1062 multiplying. I can add two zeros for 200 and then multiply by 2. So 4, 6 times 2 is 12, 2. Well, that's easy. Minus 1062 W equals to here also. We can multiply each by 2 and add two zeros. Okay, two zeros for 200. 2 times 8, 16, 1, 6 and 1, 7, and this is 14, plus 7, 38, W. So now we have a linear equation, which is in one variable, which is velocity of wind, we need to find. So let's organize it, put variables on one side and the constants on the other side. So we get 2, 1, 2, 400, take away 1, 4, 7, 600, equals to 73, 738W plus 1062W, right? Now we can combine the terms. Let me use the calculator now to take away 212400 minus 147600 gives us 64800. So let me write here 64800 equals to, let's add these two, 738 plus 1062 that gives us 1800 W right so now we can find W by dividing 64800 by 1800 so we have 64800 divided by 1800 to get the value of W so we have 64800 divided by 1800 equals to 36 so we get the wind velocity which is 36, the units are miles per hour, right? So we can write down our answer as wind velocity is 36 miles per hour. It's kind of very important to write all the units, right? So time was in hours and speed is in miles per hour, right? So clearly one should write down the answer. I hope with this example you understand how to do questions relating distance, speed and time. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. There are about 25-30 questions on rational equations which you will find from the test papers discussed in my videos. Thank you and all the best.